Yo, what's up? Samuel Leeds here, and on this video, I wanted to tell you exactly what is rent to rent. So, if you've been wondering and hearing the term rent to rent and not know exactly what it is, in this video, I'm going to explain what it is. I'm also going to show you how, if you understand how to use this strategy of rent to rent, how you can make serious cash flow every single month, starting with very little. Effectively, rent to rent is when you rent a property off a landlord, and usually it will be a reasonably low rent. It will be off a particular type of landlord and a particular type of property. This doesn't work with every house and with every landlord. So let me pre-qualify firstly the landlord. The landlord, it has to be a landlord who is happy to receive a low guaranteed rent. So he, he can't be a landlord that wants as much as he can possibly get every single month and he's looking to really, no, it needs to be someone who's more hands off, that just wants a quiet life, no hassle, and he wants a guaranteed rent. That needs to be the qualification of the landlord. The qualification of the house needs to be that the house can achieve a lot more rent than it is currently doing. So what kind of house would that be? Well, there can be different types of examples. One might be, it could be that the house is a big house and it's being rented out and it could be rented out into different separate units. So that could be a HMO, for example. This is the most popular type of rent to rent. So you've got a five bed house, the landlord is renting the whole thing out for 600 pounds a month and it's near a city centre and you think, hmm, he's renting it for 600 per month for the whole house. But if I came in and just furnished the property, made it a bit prettier, maybe paid for the all the utility bills, which might cost me a few hundred pounds a month, I could then re-rent out the rooms for 400 pound a month, which would be considerably more profitable. So it needs to be a house where you could increase the rent. Another example would be, maybe if it's just a, a little studio apartment in a city center, and it's renting out for 500 pound a month, this little studio apartment, you could think, hmm, that little studio apartment with a little bit of creativity, if I was to put a key safe outside the apartment and was to furnish it and include the bells, I could rent that out as a hotel, like a hotel without staff. I could list this property on Airbnb and booking.com and instead of getting maybe 500 pound a month, I could get 500 pound every few days in rent from guests. So you can massively raise the rent on that. So if you can find a property where you can massively raise the rent and then a landlord who just wants a nice simple guaranteed rent, he doesn't want to mess around, maybe he's old school, he doesn't want to take risks, he hasn't got the inclination, he hasn't got the time, he might not even have the few thousand pounds of money to put it in the way that it needs to be. You can find those two people together, that's when you can do a rent to rent. And effectively all you'll do is you'll just offer to give the landlord a guaranteed rent where you know, and the key to this is always you know. It's always a down to your knowledge. It's always down to your due diligence and you being able to be the smart person in the game that can give the landlord what he wants, can change the property's use to make it, to, to, to push the rents up. And then of course you, in the middle, keep the difference. So you'll give the landlord what he wants, you'll rent the property out for more, and then you'll keep the difference. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing a rent to rent unless the difference is at least 500 pounds a month. So, because it's not worth the hassle. If you're messing around, secured the deal with the landlord, then you're, and you're gonna make 200 pound a month, I don't think it's worth the hassle. So I'll be saying at least 500 pound. Now, some of my properties and some of my students, have, and you can you can check up on the other videos, but some of my students have got rent to rent where they're making a thousand pounds plus per rent to rent property, and they've paid practically nothing to do this and to secure these types of deals. So that's what rent to rent is. How are you gonna find these types of rent to rents? Well, you can find these agents from networking, you can find them online, you can find them through agents. You just need to find the right kind of property, the right kind of landlord, where you can offer that sort of deal. That is rent to rent. Very, very popular strategy here in the UK at the moment, and very low entry point. You don't need any qualifications to do a rent to rent. You don't need a lot of money. Again, I've got students that have come into this country with nothing, and they're doing rent to rents within literally a few months. You do need to make sure you do it properly. So you're gonna need a, a proper agreement. The type of agreement you're gonna need is you're gonna need a corporate let management agreement. So you can't do this with just normal ASTs. Some people say, you know, oh, is this illegal? It's illegal when you do it wrong on the wrong contracts. Then it would be classed as subletting when you do rent to rent legally. It, it, it's completely above board. It's something that even uh, we've got solicitors who are in our academy and they're doing this strategy. We've got estate agents doing this strategy. So hopefully that's kind of cleared up what rent to rent is. If you've got any questions about rent to rent, whack them below in the comments and maybe I'll do a more detailed video answering 
answering your questions. And please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. Really appreciate the love. Your success is my oxygen, so I'm gonna keep doing these videos until you keep becoming successful. Let me know when that happens. God bless.